What's up, YouTube? Sky the One Guy here, and today we're gonna open this up. It is the Big In Collectibles monthly subscription uh, package they sent me, so you can sign up for this. I signed up for a full year, um, starting with this one, so this is January, and uh, basically they send you some Yu-Gi-Oh product each month, and uh, I think they do a pretty good job. I've opened up some of these in the past, but I took quite a break for a while. Um, but yeah, so whatever's inside of this, whatever packs or whatever, we're just gonna open it all up and see what's inside. So again, this is Big in collectibles. I'm not sponsored or anything, but they do a pretty good job. And uh, let's just see what we get. So I was gonna say it did feel pretty heavy. So it looks like we got a play mat, which is pretty cool. Okay, so they did a really good job packaging this up, actually. So this is a play mat for the IP Masquerina. I actually don't own one of these yet. So well, actually, you know, let's go ahead and use this for the video. We'll go ahead and. Bear with me, a little bit of change up on the fly here. There we go, okay. So that's the playmat you get if you would have signed up for January. And then this is the other stuff, I'm guessing this is like a mystery pack, yep. Mystery pack and some grand creators. So two, four, six packs of grand creators, a really nice playmat. And they did an ex a really excellent job packaging that up uh, in that small bubble mailer. I actually didn't even, I thought it'd be like a mini play mat or something. It felt weird, I wasn't sure. But, so we're gonna open these up, then we'll go with the mystery item, and then of course, the awesome Masquerina play mat. Very cool, oops, and I already dropped a pack. <clears throat> Hopefully that's a lucky pack. Sorry guys, I just uh, recorded like a 40 minute video, so. Voice is already a little sore. But, uh, figured we'd go, go ahead and open this up, see what's inside. And I haven't even opened up a pack yet, I'm already pretty happy. Uh, so Grand Creators, fairly recent set. Let's see if we get anything good. Here's a Castell, Dunel, the Noble Arms of Light. Then for Super XYZ Universe. And then we got Thunder Discharge, Torrental Tribute, Soul and Strike, and Shara Kuse. So Torrental, Soul and Strike, solid reprints. Definitely can't go wrong with those. You're definitely going to get some decent cards out of uh, some side sets like this. So pack number two, Grand Creators, Castell to start us off again, Ties of the Brethren, and Magicor Warrior of the Relics is the super rare. And we got a uh, Draco back, Psychic Tracker, Starlit Papillon, and Insector Exostag. Tons of rares from this set, since you don't really get rares from uh, core sets anymore. And uh, another pack here, pack number three of the Grand Creators. And just let me know if you want to see me open up more Grand Creators. We can definitely open up some more of this on the channel if you guys enjoy this set. Goki Pole, Zector Sword Zect Caliber, and Gagaku Punk Wagon. Very cool looking artwork there. Really nice looking super rare. Hidden Armory, Zector Exabeetle, another Solemn Strike, that's a good one. I'm happy with that. And Starlit Papillon. Take all the Solemn Strikes I can get. <clears throat> so yeah, like I said, the playmat, I'm already sold on this package. I mean, I didn't actually get one of those. It's a really nice playmat. So, some nice packs here of the creators. Maybe we can get something a little better than a super rare. Let's see. Okay. Uh, Punk Rising Carp. Castell again. Lots of Castells. And Breath of Resurrection. I mean, these supers look really nice. They did a great job on some of these. Look at that. Looks really nice for sure. So then we got a Psychic Wheeler, uh, Dragoback, Sector Set, uh, Centipede, and Armory Call. Okay, two packs left. Four supers so far. Let's see if we can get something good out of these last two Grand Creators packs. And we still got that mystery pack that I accidentally scooted off camera. Okay, Virtual World Hema Nyan Nyan, uh, Ties of the Brethren, Zector Dragonfly, very nice Zector card there, and then we have Force of Lost Flowers, Hidden Armory, Exo Sister Caspatel, and Zector Ho uh, Hopper. So Zectors are in here, cool reprints there. Okay, last pack of the Grand Creators. Hopefully we can get something decent out of here. Last pack of Magic. Okay, <clears throat> uh, Nashawari Surprise, 
Goki Pole and Magikor Warrior of the Relics. So it looks like we got all supers here. Ooh, that's a really cool looking super. Again, like, man, they did a really good job on the supers. Uh, Trental Tribute. And uh, yeah, so, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. That was the last pack of the Grand Creators. All six packs had supers, but that's okay. I've had some really good luck with these guys, uh, the big end collectibles in the past. So probably just had some bad luck on those today but like i said if you need if you guys want to see a redemption of some grand creators i'll get some packs or a box or i'll get something together and we can open that up on the channel so now let's get into this mystery item here let's see what this is let's see should i use scissors on this is this maybe i should okay so we got some uh, synchro storm packs here i'm gonna actually use scissors on this or just there we go okay so we got some synchro storm here Looks like we got three of those guys to open up, so maybe we can pull something crazy. Maybe we'll get a Baron or something wild to save this one, but uh, if not, that's totally okay. Quill Pin of Goldos, Leerless Sapphire Swallow, Speedroid Red Eye Die, Stardust Warrior, and High Speedroid Kite Drake. So these are not guaranteed a hollow. And Baron de Fleur is just an ultra rare. Well, I guess that's the highest rare you can pull in the Ghost Rare, but Ultra Rare Baron is <clears throat> definitely an expensive card from this set. So, Tornado Dragon, Cobalt Sparrow, Z-Own. Ooh, Celestine Wagtail. So, we actually hit an Ultra Rare out of three packs. That's pretty hard to do, especially an Ultra, not just a Super. So, that's a really nice one. Um, yeah, it's actually a playable card. It's got a little bit of value to it, nothing crazy. But very happy with that. And hopefully you guys are liking the new lighting I'm using. Hopefully it's uh, working out really good. It looks it looks good so far. So, yeah. There's the lighting there. Sorry to blind you guys. All right. Yeah, that looks great. I can't stop checking that foil pattern on that car. The, the shine on it just with the new lighting looks great. And last pack of the video. Let's see if we can end it on something. I mean, we just got an Ultra, so we can't really be too greedy, but uh, well, maybe we'll get something. Terra Top, Speedroid, Synchro Explorer, Sorcerer Deflurer, and a Rare to finish it off. But that's okay. We got an Ultra, some cool Supers, and best of all, we got this awesome play mats. So we got the Wagtail, Magic Core Warrior of Relics, Insector Dragonfly, Breath of Resurrection, Gaga Punk Wagon, Magikor Warrior of the Relics. We got a second one of those in an XYZ universe. So those are our hollows so far. Get a nice view of those. And the, the playmat here in the background. Again, that came with it as well. So uh, yeah, we'll have we'll be getting the uh, February um, box from Big End Collectibles here real soon opened up as well. Um, so be sure to check back for that. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Uh, we're going to do about 12 videos, you know, one for each month um, of this year, opening up the the monthly package that they put together at Big End Collectibles. So they do a great job, and if you guys want to check it out, be sure to look them up. They seem like a really reputable company. I've gotten a lot of great pulls from them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it, and um, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.